É, meu nome é Armindo Munhol. My name is Armindo Munhol. I have been in farming for 30 years. And I have this property here and another one that make a total of 3,000 hectares. Of this area, we cultivate about 2,500 hectares with soy and the rest is nature protected area. These new products that come from biotechnology are a very important factor for preserving the animals. Before, there were no longer wild animals here. Now we have capivaras, emus, hares, and birds. So what I can say is that I believe that biotechnology has helped a great deal and will help even more in the future. The rural producer likes the earth. What makes us proud is to protect the soil. We would never use a technology if we were aware that it would destroy the environment. Because the farmer likes what he does. So, these areas we save for the animals bring us peace of mind. I think that if we have 3,000 hectares that are taken from nature, it's common sense to save part of it for nature. Some people say that capivaras and other animals destroy the crop. But I reply that some years, such as last year, we missed to harvest 70,000 sacks of soy because of drought. So, I don't worry that these animals might destroy a little of the crop. I think that the big problem is when people who don't know about a certain subject want to talk about it. Transgenic soy took so long to be made legal here because there were many entities against it. The ones who are against it either don't have good enough information or have bad intentions. And the society who lives in the cities listen to the media. Sometimes it's not what's most reasonable that convinces them. But the ones who speak loudest or who are most in the media that convince the consumer. But if they come here and see how it was before and what's happened with our production, they will be convinced. With 2,500 hectares, we work about the same we used to work 500 hectares when we had the conventional planting system. We had to work night and day to be able to plant an area which was one-fifth of what we plant nowadays. So for us, biotechnology was the great solution together with conservation tillage. We had resistant weeds here, so we applied a series of herbicides and nothing worked. So we needed to manually clear off the weeds. It was the biotechnology that relieved us and gave us the means to better utilize our property, reducing expenses, increasing productivity and improving everything. Everything got better. So, biotechnology has changed the way we live. Now we work in a much more comfortable system, much more humane for our employees. So, it improved life both for bosses and employees. So, biotechnology was the best thing that happened to us. Farmers and I think it will be the great solution for the country.